Hi there. Today's tech talk is about how to find a meeting time for multiple people. Now, when it's just you and one other person trying to land on a meeting time to, to get together, it's pretty simple. But as you add a third, a fourth, et cetera, it can get really complex. You've probably been a part of an email chain where you're all talking about, I can meet this day, but not this day, this time, but not this time. And before you know it, as all the replies start coming in, you realize it's taking longer to schedule the meeting then the meeting itself is going to last. So I found a way in Google Calendar where you can find a time that you can all meet. Let's just say we want the simple standard one hour long meeting, let's say. Let me go ahead and share my screen here real fast. And here's my calendar. Now don't worry about that cool camel pattern. I keep on saying I'll cover that one of these days and well I will. Let's just say I'm gonna create this event here and this is gonna be a meeting. The first thing I want to try to do is input all the participants, all the guests. So let's just say I start filling in the, the different team members here on this project we're all working on. Let's go with, okay. And you probably have noticed that on this event details tab is where you input the location of the meeting. You can even indicate which calendar it's gonna go on if you have multiple calendars. A description of what's gonna go on in the meeting and maybe even an attachment. You can even attach a Google Doc or Google Docs that, that relate to this meeting. Uh, notifications, if any, etc. But you may not have noticed this find a time tab. Once you input the names of your guests, if you click find a time, you can see that by default, it's, it, uh, Google Calendar is indicating a meeting to happen like right now or pretty soon to now on today's date. And so here is this relative time slot across all of the participant meeting uh, participants. So if I click on, by the way, this is the, the, the day view, but if I click on week, that's even better. Okay, let's pretend I'm, I'm aiming to have this meeting sometime next week. So if I go into next week here, I can see we've got a few slots here. Maybe I want to have it, maybe this slot looks good to me. And then I realize, well, no, that's actually about lunchtime for most people. What about an after lunch meeting here or here? And of course, as I change these, I don't know if you noticed, but up here, these, these uh, time numbers change. The dates change automatically, so you don't have to type them in, so you can just click and drag. So. Let's say I'm, I'm seeing two potential slots here, one on the 31st, one on the, on the 1st, both at 1 o'clock p.m. Let's say that I want to go for the earlier one in case we have to bail and go to the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this over to here. And now by, going, by viewing everyone's calendar, I see this empty slot. All I would need to do at this point would click on save and you've probably seen where at that point it asks if you want to send or not send um, invite notifications. So again, an easy way to see multiple calendars at once in the context of, of when you're just about to create a calendar meeting uh, for a group of people, you click on find a time and that shows everyone's calendar of which you can see where you have some common time available and there it is. It's pretty straightforward, and they take a lot less time than all that email dialogue. So I, I found that the other day, and I thought I'd share it with you. hope you like it. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.